Good day and welcome to another exciting episode of the Niger Soccer Stars Reality TV Show. It is a place where stars are nurtured to start up. I am your host, Mia Akiri. The last round of games from the group stages kicked up yesterday and we saw an entertaining draw between Lagos FC and Kogi FC. On today's show, we will bring to you the second game of the last round of matches where we have Rivers FC against Ogu FC. And I must tell you, it was a match that was action packed From the blast of the whistle to the end, you must not miss a second of this game. And least I forget, our young and talented players from the Niger Circle Star reality TV show had some fun moments in the arena, in their games. This may make you tear while indeed laughing. Yes, because it is great to have moments like this with these young stars in the house. But then my advice to you is to relax, enjoy this with anything you like, because we are about to take you on a journey of a lifetime. My people, I want to tell you now about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for your moto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your moto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto go to go siriri, where it is. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish, have you? Bring my sister, I'm going come here, back. Welcome everyone, it's still Ninja Soccer Stars Football Reality TV show and we are here at the arena to continue with our very very mindful arena games. It has a lot to do with the senses. Yes, it's not brute, it's not strength, it's not steel, it's not grit. It's all about sense and you can see cones right there, you can see a ball and you can see the players right behind me. The players would have two teams selected from each of the teams as their representatives and the representatives will get the instructions on how the game will go. This game is called the blindfolding game where you get to walk up to these cones, pick up as many cones as six at least and then you get to pick that ball. Each cones have got a point tagged on them and if you get to that ball and you get to pick it, it will be 15 points accrued. That is six points from the cones, then also additional 15 on the ball. You just must pick six cones before you get to pick that ball. So that is the condition. It will be each setup, one player from each two teams going up against each other first, then the other players second. They will add up their points and then we know who takes that particular match. Straight up is the game. So go nowhere. And now it's time for the game. I told you earlier, it's the blindfolding game. And just before now, the teams have picked out their representatives, two from each team, and they are ready to go. Kicking off started is Lagos FC and Adamawa FC. And representing them, you can see right behind me, already blindfolded, and we are waiting to see how they will perform. Six cones, each player must pick, before getting to the juicy one, which is the ball, which has 15 points. So with your six cones, you already have six points, and then we see which team gets to pick the ball. It is time, but I will now hand you over straight to the chief coach himself. I'm talking of Coach Larry to take up and coordinate all of the proceedings. Go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Go. Now the next set is now Elugu and Rivers. Go! and acquire ball. Go! Go, 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 go
Still going between Kogi and Akwa Ebon. Go! We are now going to go between Ogun and Kano. Go! Semi-final between Lagos and Enugu. Go! Left, 
Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's complete. One, two, three, four, five. Lagos is disqualified because they picked five cones before the ball. Why Enugu won? We are still on between Enugu and Lagos. Go! Semi final between Aqua Ebom and Kano. Go! Semi final between Kano and Aqua Ebon. Go! Final between Kano and Enugu. Go! Right, 
That was some fun moment in the camp here at Ninja Soccer Stars. Kudos to Kano FC for emerging the winner of the blindfold game. The players are well relaxed and are in high spirit for the next match. When we return, it will be time for the match between Ogun FC and Rivers FC. Don't touch the dark. This is Kano FC. Keep watching Ninja Soccer Stars. Kano FC! What do we do? Kano FC! Save us up! My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo Oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for Yamoto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, uh, Ayo, you don't just finish, Abi. Bring my sister, Abi, come here, beg. Kenzo oil, la la la. The game between Ogun FC and Rivers FC about to get underway and you can see the referee leading the team onto the pitch. Ogun FC with the goalkeeper in front, Adonin Black and other players in red. For Rivers FC, the goalkeeper is in yellow and all other teammates in orange. And they are filing out to do the normal ritual in a football match. File out. Later say hello to each other after the anthem. That's the national anthem right there. And it's time to get to meet each other on a friendly note before we get into hostilities. You can see Rivers FC moving towards the referees and then the Ogun FC players in a kind gesture to once again remind everybody that a football match 
has a lot to do with fair play. It's about time. Okay. Ogo FC players also taking a handshake with the referees. And it's time to toss the coin and see who is starting, which team is starting from which side and all of that. And Rivers FC will be playing from the left to the right, while Ogo FC will be playing from the right to the left. Okay. It's prayer time for the teams. <laughs> I want to speak to their divine creator to get some luck even after playing good football. The captain, the leader, and also one of the most prominent members in the Ninja Soccer Stars house, Anana. You can see him in the goalpost right there. Uh huh. And um, hostilities are on their way. The game started with Rivers FC getting us, um, you know, on the way right here. I think there might be an early attack. Okay, Ogo okay, FC have managed that and. This is what you get in Ninja Soccer Stars house, where you catch them very, very young for them to become special in the nearest future. Ball being put to touch right there, throwing to Rivers FC and Ogo FC once more. And, oh no, that was a terrible miss. Rivers FC, should have been one goal up, but for whatever means, by the striker of Rivers FC, he chose to bring Christmas early for Ogo FC. That was a special gift for him. He didn't take it, and he gifted it back. And another throwing from the very young man that I was talking about, and it looks like his train might just cause a lot of trouble today. And I think he wants to really have the truth, but his teammate says, don't worry, I'll do that. And it looks like, no, it's not. It's just a ball on target. Let's see what Ogo FC will be able to do because in the few minutes we've played, it looks like Rivers FC would have this game in their kitty. And the coach is telling Ogo FC players that please put the ball on the ground. I know you can pass very well. Let's make the best use of that. Ogo FC might be in trouble, but they've, they've been able to manage it and we're moving right there. Onana with the ball. He has picked out a teammate. And I can hear the coach complaining because that was a very, very wrong move from the defender that is called Osime. You cannot do that in a football match as a defender holding on to the ball too much, especially when the opponents are right in front of you.
And this might just be what we've been waiting for. But the defenders were able to crowd. And that pass looks too heavy. And uh, it's too heavy because it's being put to touch right now. And another lovely, lovely move from Ogo FC. Cut short by a wrong pass. For Rivers FC, they are coming again. Ogo FC is with the ball. There are strings of passes, but it is leading to almost um, nothing once more. And Rivers FC with Andrew right there. Can Ogo FC create anything from this attack? No one small. Passing is their major issue and they need to really address that. Ogo FC have got a free kick right there because there was an infringement on one of their supporting strikers. I know games like this where it starts very cagey, very drab. One goal always gets these um, short games blown into life and maybe it will go FC but I think it might not happen at this time but but there is still Ogun FC coming maybe their first attack will be way more dangerous than we think but it is Rivers FC averting pressure and there is a foul right there because the captain of Rivers FC was impeded on the foul on captain of Rivers FC, uh, popularly called Dudu Martin. Yes, the Dudu, house. yes. Very good, talented footballer. And uh, this uh, competition has thrown up so, so many funny uh, nicknames. Nicknames, yes. We have Onana and we, we have, have Osime. Osime, that is a defender. We have uh, <laughs> Mane, we have Pogba, <laughs> a lot of names right there. And Ogo FC might look like there is something happening right now. Let's see if they can bustle out these passes and there is a man to the ground and it is! Not a goal. Oh my goodness. Another great, great chance. Ball on target. Very good one from Wisdom. But his teammates couldn't kill that off because it was uh, a food right there on a platter. Ogun FC are gradually building into this game, but... And the man right there ran into traffic. Okay, the pass was wrong, but he got the ball back and he's mesmerizing. But his mesmerizing didn't lead to anything. And like so many popular footballers do, he's pulling his O's. You can see Elijah, number three for Rivers FC, the young man. It's a very good uh, footballer. He doesn't fear any tackle. He goes into it. He takes his ball. He has good throwing as well. It's a star to watch for the future. It's a star to watch. I was talking about Elijah earlier, who looks like a 12-year-old. He's so small. And trust me, amongst this team, he's called a smolly. <laughs> that is one of the funny ways we get to relate to those very petite footballers you know, on the pitch, and there is a throw, and maybe it is. Oh no! The field is wet, and Onana has picked up his ball, and there is Onana serving out right there. Rivers FC are on the back foot. This game is gradually building into what we feel it should be. And Ebin, who is one of the players that Rivers FC wants on the ball, is right there. Holding the ball and Elijah is there and he has put the ball out, but no, there was nobody to connect. Let's see if Ogo FC will get this and um, it's still Rivers FC. Good passing. Ogo FC have muscled that and the ball 
right there to the big striker for Rivers FC. What can he do? He's driven in. He's moving. He's, he's. And it's Onana grabbing the ball after the second chance. That was a very good save. And I love the fact that the big striker, using his size and his body to muscle his way through to the 18, got a chance. And that was a good shot on target. But Nana was equal to the attempt. Nana is the only uh, uh, goalkeeper in this uh, competition that is the captain. And yes. the, uh, from what happened just now, you can see why he was he's, choosing why, the why he's the captain. Uh, exactly, the exactly. And. I think the Ogu FC defend, uh, defenders need to be careful with the Rivers FC attacker. He's a very big man. Somebody like Romelu Lukaku, who knows how to bully defenders and get their way whenever they are close to the 18 or 16 box. So, for defenders of Ogu FC, you have your work cut out because you get to slumber just for a second. This big striker looks like he can punish you. And maybe this is a goal! That is wisdom getting the first goal of the match. And it is Ogu FC. I said it, that Ogu FC looks more dangerous when they're attacking. Although Rivers FC have gotten more chance and wisdom has capitalized on that. And he made sure the keeper was left rooted where he's standing because he loved the ball over him. And the keeper could only look towards the ball and look to where the ball will land. And it is a goal for Ogu FC with Wisdom getting that goal. Wixom, lanky, tall, uh, lovely striker, one you want to, to have in your team. And when you even want to throw the ball, he has this uh, uh, very long throwing that disturbed the defense. And uh, the first time the Rivers uh, goalkeeper was called to action, he was found wanting. 1-0 one one. Ogun, uh, we are having fun here, we are enjoying the games. These stars are for the future. I'm I looking want to at up close. One of the hazard of the job. Yes, this I mean, is yes, yes. Football is physical. Every so, every yeah. job I've got their hazard, yeah. and uh, football is one of those physical sports. It's not tennis. <laughs> it's not either you know the one on the lawn or um, the one on the table. It is football, and there would always be body contact. Hopefully, it, there are issues that we can get to manage. And it looks like Onana is back on his feet, and it looks like Onana is back as the stalwart, as the big man, the captain for his team, talking about Ogun FC, and he's already, already giving out instructions, saying, you stay there, you wait here, I am watching you. And there is a long throw. Okay, it's a short one. I thought it was going to be long, and Ogun FC, can they clear their line? They clear their line, and there is a movement towards Rivers FC post, and there is... The Rivers FC was able to hold themselves well, and Bob being put to touch by Ogo FC. And there is another Ogo FC player who is on the turf. What is happening? Ogo FC players, I think they are so, so, um, maybe a bit fragile. They are uh, um, a, a team that loves to play tiki taka, no physical football. And when they meet a physical team, they seem to be struggling. The second player for Ogo FC after Onana to go to the turf right there, but he's back on his feet. And I think he's just trying to take a rest. Check me out, I'm fine, and it's time to get on with proceedings. And the young Elijah is called upon to have that throw. And I think this man, in the nearest future, will be one of those that we're waiting for 
to give us those long throws like Celestine Babayaro used to do some years ago. And Ogo FC looks like they might just get another chance. Be and the referee has spotted an infringement because he's a bean. And there is movement. Will it happen for Ogo FC again? No. Rivers FC are really equal to this. I said it that Ogo FC are always very, very dangerous whenever they go forward. And it's a throw-in to Rivers FC. And Rivers FC have gotten us on the way. The big striker is muscling his way. Can you stand him? No, you cannot. And there is a foul. Maybe, maybe this might warrant the referee brandishing a card. But the referee has said it's your first it's your first issue. There won't be card for you. You will just be warned. I've said it to Ogo FC defenders. You need to do more because this big striker from Rivers FC finds a way to bully every time he gets the chance. Wisdom is screaming, calling Okiki, saying you need to stand like this. But Nana is also controlling. And let's see if the free kick. Might just be it, but Onana is equal to it, and he made a miss meet out of that. Let's go. Wisdom is there, but the defenders who know what Wisdom can do have quickly closed him up. Rivers FC are really struggling with their passes at this time. I think a midfielder should be told that get the balls to the big striker in front. Ogo FC trying to do something, but it is now out of touch. And it's still 1-0 in favor of Ogun FC. A goal scored by Wisdom. And there might just be trouble for Rivers FC. And Ogun FC have been able to manage that. There is movement for Ogun FC. Let's see what they could do with that. Ebin has obstructed their passing. But... The passing game has been the issue for Rivers FC. They cannot just get to string three, four, five passes together at a goal. Wisdom is with the ball and he's trying to play some gimmicks. It didn't work. Wisdom is so agitated. He's saying that ball was supposed to be a throw-in. And from where I'm standing, I think it's supposed to be Ogo FC's advantage. It's supposed to be a throw-in in favor of Ogo FC. But the referee can see better. That is a nasty, nasty way to throw. The referee decision earlier just showed that you are not the referee and he's a man in charge. Exactly, so. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if you look at what is happening with River FC, Elijah has been moved to the left, uh, left, left hand left, side, right -hand side yes. of the game. I don't know why, because in playing uh, the, uh, the right hand side, he has done well uh, from the little we've seen. Maybe they feel he can do more. I think there is a dangerous ball now, but it was just from wisdom throwing to the goalkeeper of Rivers FC. And let's see what will happen. If Rivers FC ball straight, out of touch from the goalkeeper also to his defender. And it is still Rivers FC not understanding each other when it comes to stringing of passes. That is definitely a foul. Rivers FC still down by a long goal and we are still in the first half of the match between Rivers FC and Ogo FC. Okay, that's a good pass but it didn't get to its destination. Good intention, I think bad execution. Will it happen for Rivers FC at this time? It is. We're waiting for the referee's decision and it is. A corner kick right there for Rivers FC. It 
a goal for Rivers FC and it's a cross. And let's see if but Onana could read that ball very well. And like a mommy will catch a baby, he caught that ball. And that's simple. The big man, he couldn't get past the first man right there. Ogrefsi dropping that ball into a very dangerous area. But the goalkeeper read that so well. And he has picked up the ball and was looking to start again. He served the ball right now. Straight into the half of Ogrefsi. And Ogrefsi defenders... Can Lagos Rivers FC hitting that ball out of touch and Ogwensi still looking around to see if they can get a second goal and there is something about the long throw and Wisdom is there to do that. I felt Wisdom is a big man but if he's the only one that can do the long throw let's see if others can utilize that and and the goalkeeper got that and Rivers FC have got a chance for a counter-attack. Can they do? They cannot really muscle out a good counter-attack because there is Ogo FC who is standing in their way and Wisdom is passing and dropping into dangerous areas. He's taking out the number one man. Can you? And that definitely will be an infringement. He couldn't exercise a little patience. He really wanted that ball, and I understand his plight because they need to get back to, to equal uh, the this, this score line at this time. And that push that seemed very, very mild looks like it is way more than I can see it. The man is right there, agonizingly expressing his pain on the top. Okay, the man is back up. I think he just needed a little stretch on his legs. And the stretch has been done and he's back. And he's even placing himself for a pass from his goalkeeper, Onana. And the referee has signaled the end of the first half. And it is 1-0 in favor of Ogu FC, a goal scored by Wisdom. 1-0 one zero, one zero in favor of the FC and I've seen when uh, Rivers United uh, Rivers FC changed uh, Elijah to, to the other side, yes. the Ogun FC changed their attack to the left side as well. Probably they have seen they are seeing it that uh, Elijah is a young man, his he, youthful exhaustion is showing. My name is Femi Okwabume, ex Nanja International. Keep watching Ninja Soccer Stars reality TV show. Thank you. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo Oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for Yamoto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your motor, I see your motor go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your motor to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish up. Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Kenzo oil, ba ba. The second half is on its way, and it's Ogun FC getting us started. 
Ogo FC, a quick reminder, is leading by one goal to nil. And throwing the ball right there is young Elijah. We talked about him so well in the first half. Let's see what they'll be able to do in the second. Rivers FC are trailing by a long goal. And that was a good shot, but the sea of bodies from Ogo FC right there couldn't make anything special happen. Let's see if Ogo FC, and there is a proper, proper shielding of the ball by the Rivers FC defender and his one himself uh, a throwing ball. And that was a dangerous uh, happening because the communication was so poor right there. And the midfielder, midfield maestro for Rivers FC is really struggling. I don't know what's happening. Because Ogo FC looks like the midfield is for them right now. And there is. The assistant referee has signaled that the man was in an offside position. Infringement. Wow. Good passes to and fro from Rivers FC that couldn't get to the final man, and also with Ogo FC that didn't get to the final man. That was, that was a foul, and the referee has spotted that. The big man, I think what the Ogo FC are trying to do with the big striker is to stop him before he gets into momentum. And, oh my goodness, he's gotten another chance, and still the chance was squandered. I think the big man doesn't like it easy. It was a case where we would have to fight and struggle to get the ball. I think that suits him better. It is a very close one, but the goalkeeper understands, read the ball well, and he rushed all out to get his lines cleared. I can hear the Ogo FC coach screaming to the players that they should concentrate, that that is all they need right now. Why for Rivers FC coach? And there would be a long throw that is getting into delicate position, but Ogo FC have once again skillfully and lovely cleared their line, but there is still danger and, and, Let's see if this long throw would materialize and it's a... No! Onana was equal to the attempt because that was a very, very close one from Andrew. A very close one from Andrew. He spotted so well, but he didn't calculate the goalkeeper who has been fantastic all day.
this match is building by the seconds into what we think it should be. And maybe this is the goal. Goma scrabble, boots going to the head, heads clashing, bodies rumbling. I think the most important thing for UFC is that the ball is out of touch. Are they up? Are they down? One, two, three, and the last man is up on his feet. He's still limping, he's still wobbling, but it looks like his feet and he's back in one piece. Jogging to the heart of the midfield right about now. Onana is saying, thank God it is all over when it comes to the pressure for now. That was, that was very, very bad from the captain of Rivers FC, Dudu. But the referee had said that shouting is a wrong one. Andre is standing. Andre is standing by the ball. And there is a cross from Andrew. And he's gotten into. But. And that is a good, simple pass. Can the striker get that done? But the defender was very, very ready. And it ended up with a striker on the deck and the ball out of touch. And that's another good pass from Andrew and he's still Rivers FC, Ebin is on the ball and he's, he's dropped a pass that didn't go anywhere. There was supposed to be an infringement, but the referee left the ball for advantage. I can hear the screaming of the Rivers FC coach saying, we are losing, you need to be more active and maybe, but on Nana. Is always there as the safe hands that he is. That ball was to nobody. The man in the midfield. I think this is, this is frustrating for Rivers FC. The gym mix on Nana is playing, but he understands we're leading and he needs to buy his team a little more time. And it, is, it has gone above, but the defender didn't relent. And he's still, he's still in touch. What is going to happen? It's a corner kick right there for Ogu FC. It's a throwing now. That's a foul. And it's the big man for Rivers FC who has missed two golden chances to put his team either level or even in front. But I love the spirit. He's still calling for the ball. And it's a good ball by Andrew, but Onana was there to clear out that ball. Andrew is holding his knee. Is he fine? I think he is because he's up on his feet and he's jogging. I 
and there is a foul. There is an infringement on Dudu. And I can see Dudu having a good handshake with Ebin because he got a lovely, lovely pass from Ebin. And I thought it was going to be a very good attack until the Ogu FC defenders were able to pull him down. And that at the end them a free kick. Let's see who takes this ball. It looks like um, it's very promising from a very close angle right there. You'll be asking, who is the JJO coach in this team? Who is the Lionel Messi in this team? Who is the Cristiano Ronaldo in this team? Who is the Shego Odegbami in this team? Who is the Finidi George in this team? Maybe it is time for us to get to discover that. And the only person I can see is Dudu. And also close to him is Elijah, the little, little looking fragile man. Maybe there is more magic about Elijah that we do not know. Let's see if he's a dead boss specialist. And it's about Dudu. And that is a corner kick for Rivers FC. Dudu played it so well. And it's the corner has been taken. Is it in there? Oh no. Onana was smart enough after squandering the ball to the ground. He was still able to cover up as quickly as possible to avoid stories that we say can be very touchy. And Wisdom have gotten that ball, but he couldn't get it to himself. He got it way far from himself. And it is Rivers FC attacking right now. I think the momentum has shifted. It's all about Rivers FC right now. Can they get a goal for their troubles? Let's wait and see. There is Andrew right there. There is Dudu. There is still Andrew. And there is the big man. And it, there is a short ball. He couldn't get past the man right there. Oh. Rivers FC doing everything they should do, talking about attack, but one thing evades them is that idea to put the ball beyond Onana. He's throwing ball at the ongoing and just like stars football reality TV show. Can he? Because there's a wisdom there and he's gone past his man and he couldn't because he tries to be way smarter. And it's a throwing for Rivers FC. <laughs> Let's see. Andrew is holding his knee. I think that knee is worrying for Andy. I don't know if he will manage to finish this game, but it looks like the man. And he's, he's, oh my goodness, that was a good, good chance. He took the ball so well, but I'm wondering what Rivers FC need to do to beat Onana in goal post because the man is equal to everything they've thrown at him. Wow, what a striker. The big man for Rivers United, for Rivers FC, is displaying to be. And that is Onana again equal to everything being thrown to the goalpost of Ogo FC. Something must be done special for Rivers FC to get a goal at this time. I think that's an infringement and the referee has spotted that. It's a free kick, and the two suspects are back at it again. Elijah and Dudu, the captain. Let's see what they can do this time. But Elijah has left the scene, and it's all about Dudu. Does he want to go straight to the goalkeeper? He wants to float the ball, he went straight, no. The, the coach is saying, 
No, that is not what I asked you to do. Float the ball and let us struggle in the 16-yard box for the ball. There is a man on the top and it's Ogo FC player who is holding his shin. I think he's holding his tie. Is he trying to buy time? Is he trying to be smart? Or is he really in pain? Trying for Ogo FC and we're underway. Once more, Ogo FC really happy that they got a goal while they were, you know, while they had the momentum on their side. Because right now, it seems like they are defending what Rivers FC is bringing. Rivers FC have the momentum on their side. That's a clearance from Rivers FC at this time. Another throwing for Oguensi, and it is wisdom with the ball. He wants to do that trademark long throw, and he has thrown. And is it going to be? It's not going to be. Will the goalkeeper get there before it becomes? And the goalkeeper was smart. He has gotten his ball. And that's definitely a foul. He got past the first man. He was pushed. He got past the second man. He was brought down. And I think the referee had had enough and he has spotted infringement in favor of Ogo FC. I must tell you, this looks like the 2010 final at the World Cup where the Netherlands were in orange and the Spanish team were in red. Although it was a late, late goal, from Andres Iniesta that got the Spanish team that long-waited for trophy, talking about the World Cup. But today also, it is the team in red that is also leading against the team in orange. It's Rivers FC now, Ebin is with the ball, and that is one player they always wanted with the ball because of his creativity. And, um, and there is a cross. But it was kicked out. Onana kicking out the ball. Oguense are trying to calm the game. What a dribble right there. What a movement it is. And Onana, very calculative goalkeeper. He got to that ball as quickly as possible. There is another free kick for Rivers FC and it's becoming one too many. I think Rivers FC need to do so much with these balls they are getting at this time. Will this ball count? Now they've changed their free kick taker and it is Handy Andrew on the ball. Onana is controlling. Can Andy deliver something very beautiful? But no, I think he went for the cheeky one and straight out of touch. And his teammates are asking, Andrew, what was that? We are running out of time gradually. Tick tock. And that is the final whistle. It is. Ogu FC one, Rivers FC nil, and like I just ruled out, Ogu FC are ending the group phase with seven points, while Rivers FC with three points. That beautiful goal 
from Wisdom. Hello viewers, my name is Ifan Chuku Vitalis Udeze, aka Mawe Sabi, aka J. Gule. And in case you don't know or you want to know, now me, me video, I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the number one of the world. Keep watching Ninja Soccer Stars. Thank you. My people, I want to tell you about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for your moto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your moto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish, have you? Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. If you've just tuned in, you're still watching the Niger Soccer Star Reality TV Show, a place where we nurture talents to start up. Well, you may be amazed that I am in the judges' corner. It is another segment of the show. I'm not meant to be here, but unfortunately, Ike Anobi Shorumu, former Super Eagles goalkeeper, is unavailable. He was conferred with a chieftaincy title in Wasimi Ogun State and um, Chief Ike is not available for the show today. Also from our Super Eagles defender, I find you Daisy is not in the studio. But then I am here and um, the main judge today will be former Super Eagles midfielder Femi Okbabumi, a World Cup player at the 2002 FIFA Mundial. We're indeed counting down to another World Cup moment. Don't worry, we're well indeed. I'll be taking a look at that and uh, many more as the program progresses. Well, let's go straight to the judges' corner. Is that what come? Femi, Abum, it's nice to have you on today's edition of the show. Nice to be here too. Well, Femi, let's go straight to what it's been like, you know, for the teams. Um, today, our focus is Ogu FC and Rivers FC. Now, let's start with Ogu FC. A game between Ogu FC and River FC ended 1-0 okay. in favour of Ogu so, FC. Who are the players that impressed you in um, Ogu FC and the, possibly the MVPs? Okay, the first player that impressed me was Kola Wale Oluwasheye Emmanuel. He's a good goalkeeper, the way he controls his defence line very upward, very intelligent, the way he served the ball, excellent. So I pick him as one of my best players. And his fans call him Onana. Onana, yeah. Not the Onana of Cameroon, mm -hmm. and then you know Onana plays his trade in the Dutch Ever Divise with Ajax, football club of Holland. That's the former team of Kano Wanko and Fidili George. But then Onana Emmanuel, so to say, at this time, yeah. um, one of the outstanding players that has impressed you know, um, the judges and then the judge here today is Premier Pabome. Let's take a look at the more players who may have impressed the judges at uh, the FC. Yeah, the second player that impressed me was yeah, number 11 Jesse, Mohamed Sharif. Mohamed, Mohamed Sharif. Sharif. Why Mohamed Sharif? Because the way he played the ball, he was calm with the ball, the way he passes the ball, the way he crossed the ball, excellent. You remember me, my playing days, mm. that's the way I play, you know. Come with the ball, very intelligent, and I appreciate him in today's game. So very so, excellent. So should I say that um, you had an influence in choosing him because of the way you play? You saw some traits of Femi Obabumi as a young star in him. No, I because he's a very good player, not because of the way I play, okay. but he, I was impressed the okay. way he played the game. Okay. That's why I pick him. And for Nana, um, should I say because the Keshurum was a goalkeeper and then um, that probably rubbed no, off? No, you him. know what Keshurum told me when he watched the game, he called me and he told me that 
the way he served the ball excellent, the way he coordinated the defense line. That's why I pick him too. I okay, saw it. Interesting. Too. So yeah. Emmanuel um, um, would want to go and um, Mohamed, Mohamed Sherry, number Sherry, eleven jersey. The number eleven jersey. Yeah. Um, these two players alone, do we have more players who probably impressed you from Ogo FC? No, they have. We have a lot of them, but I talk about these two players because. They will, they impress me the most. Interesting. Now let's take a look at the players who are up for eviction at this stage. Um, it's one moment I don't want to be in your shoes because then um, for the players watching and then their fans, hey, he is the judge. Let me make them know that once again. So players up for eviction, Femi? You know, this is the moment that nobody wants to talk about it, but we have to say it. That's you it. Know? In, the, in life, we have good and bad. That's it. They work together. That, that makes, makes life, life special. special. Interesting. So, number one player I will pick is Kinsley. Number five, Jesse of Ogun FC. Why Kinsley? Because he's a tall defender. Okay. But the Z to control the defense line, I don't see it in him. Okay. So, he do not coordinate the defense line well. So, but is he making good use of his height? He don't make good of his height. He don't, he don't make use of his height. So, maybe to pick him. So, and in life there is room for improvement in life. Okay. I maybe when time goes on, we see more of him. But okay. for now, he's one of them. All right. And the second player I will pick is Oyema Daniel. Okay. He's number ten Jesse. Wow. For Ogu FC. So this player, he don't play to the expectation I expect from him. So he's a midfielder, as a attacking midfielder. So much is expected. I have to see the, the passes, passes, the passes flowing yeah. all over the field, but I don't see any him. So that's the second player, and the top player, Tamu Oluwajuwo, the number seven jersey. He played from the right wing. Okay. I remember the days of Finidi Joe. Oh, I Joe. don't see New coach the of Z. Football club. Yeah, I don't see the Z in him. So that's what make me pick him as the star player to go. So players up for eviction from uh, Ogun FC. Three players you chose. Do we have more? Okay, three. just three players up for eviction from Ogun FC. And um, what you could also do to ensure that then um, they may be saved. Keep voting for your favorite players uh, and um, let's see if any form of compensation you know will come via the voting process. My name is Mohammed Sherif Munir aka Malumizing. I've been nominated to be the man of the match and I want you guys to vote for me. My voting code is 5497273 and on the screen is my bank account details. You can as well send money into my bank account to vote for me. Thank you as well, Diso. May God bless you. Hello, viewers. My name is Kola Ole Oluwashe Ifumi Emmanuel, aka Onana. I play for Ogun FC. I've been nominated to be the man of the match. And please, viewers, I want you to vote for me through my voting code 54972830. And you can also vote for me through my Providence Bank account showing on your screen. Thank you so much. I love you all. Hello, viewers. My name is Onyema Daniel. I play for Ogun FC. I'm up for possible eviction. Please, I need your vote to stay long in the house. My voting code is 5497296. You can also send money to my previous bank account, showing on the screen, to vote for me. Thanks, I should do so. My name is Pagmute Kingsley, we are Dofia. I play for Ogun FC. I'm, I'm up for possible eviction. Please guys, family and friends, vote for me out there. My voting code is 549. 7244. You can also send money to my previous bank account, join on the screen to vote for me. Thank you. My name is Samuel Wajiwolo Junior and I play for Ogo FC. I am up for possible eviction and please I need your vote. My voting code is 5497268. To save you distress, you can also send money to my previous bank account to vote for me. Thank you and God bless you. But done with Ogu FC, let's take a look at them, Rivers FC. Ogu FC won that encounter, precisely Rivers FC, the losing team, but let them have an X-ray. I want to talk about the best player in River FC. And the number one player I will pick 
is Ibikunle Elijah. He's a very number three jersey, very good player, very young. Okay. In fact, he's the youngest player in this town. Wow. And very, he has the ambition, you can see it in him, and the way he connect the ball. I hope the technical committee person of the Nigeria Football Federation, that is the technical director of the Nigeria Football Federation, um, Austin Serezue Guavue, is watching the comments of a former player like Femi Okpabomi talking about um, how young and how vast you know the left back is. Reminds me of Celeste Nobayaro. Yeah. The second player I picked from River FC is Olumide Matthew. He's number eight jersey. Very, I don't see much of him. I don't see much of him, but he gave good account of himself in the second half. He played the game, the way he played. In the second in the first half, I don't see much of him. But in the second half, he proved me wrong. Hmm. He played very fantastic, the way he passes the ball, the way he controls the ball, in fact, was excellent. So I pick him as my second best player from River for River FC. Okay, so players up for eviction from Rivers FC. Yo, that is the moment. This is the moment I don't want to talk about, but we have to talk about it. The first player I will pick is Odessomi Tosi. He play at the right fullback. Okay. I don't see the Z as a right fullback. You have to go, you so run the line. Like you go and come and make the crosses, more than the football. That's it. The right it's football. It's like the right wing back. Yeah, the right wing back with the left wing back. They go and come. Mm. So I don't say it to him. So, and the second player was defensive midfielder. Number four, Chooks Benjamin. Okay. I don't see, you see the light, uh, Indidi, the way he played. Indidi. Indidi, the way he play, the defensive midfield. I don't see it in him. So I hope there is room for improvement in future, anything can happen. And the top player from River FC is Bamidele Ebenisa. I don't see much of him. I don't see much of him. He needs to work on his footwork a lot. Okay. Okay. But I hope there is room for improvement, as I always say. So that's the three players I say. That is it from Femi Okwabumi there and um, I in the studio celebrating our own Ike Shorumu who was conferred with a chieftaincy title at Wasimi in Ogo State. Well, showing on your screen right now is our social media handles. Follow them, leave a comment, suggestions or inquiries. But we'll always be there to reply all your messages. They are very important to rouse up. That's too much we've got for you from this segment. Many thanks once again, Femi Obabumi, the main judge um, in the house today. Keep enjoying the show as we have lots for you on the Niger Soccer Star Reality TV Show. Good day, viewers. My name is Elijah Bukunde, aka Bukunde Jr. I have been nominated to be the man of the match. Please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 54973019. Again, 54973019. To save you the stress, you can also send money to my Providence Bank account to vote for me. Thank you. My name is Olumide Matthew Adebayo. I play for Rivers FC. I am being nominated to be the man of the match. Please kindly vote for me. My voting code is 5497315. You can also vote for me in my Pulujos Bank account that is showing on the screen. Please vote for me. Thank you. This is Father Somi Uluato St. Michael, aka OL. I play for Rivers FC and I'm up for possible eviction. I will need your vote now to remain in the house. So kindly vote for me. My voting code is 5497295. Kindly vote for me to remain in the house. To save you the stress of voting, you can use the Providers bank account displaying on your screen to vote for me by sending money into that account. Thank you and God bless. Good day, viewers. My name is Bodendi Ebeniza. I play for River FC. I'm up for possible eviction. Please vote for me to keep me in the house. My voting code is 5497288. You can also send money to my Providence bank account as shown on the screen to vote for me. So please vote for me, guys, and God bless you. I'm Edu Vias. My name is Benjamin Jukes, aka Black. I'm up for possible eviction. Please kindly vote for me to keep me going. My voting code is 547257. You can also send money to my Providence 
virtual account shown on your screen to vote for me. Thank you. What a match we've watched on today's edition of the program, the Niger Soccer Star Reality TV Show. But notice that the players tried to up their game because no one wants to be evicted. But the sad news is this. Six players are up for eviction and the only magic to keep them in the camp is your vote. So viewers, start voting for your favorite players in the camp so as to keep them in the Niger Soccer Star reality TV show. Showing on your screen is our social media angles. Kindly follow us, leave a comment, suggestions or inquiries, but we'll reply all your messages. Till we come your way again for another fantastic episode on the best soccer reality TV show on TV, I am your host, me and Akiri. My game is Fair Play and I'm dropping out.